Although Studio isn't a modeling program, there's actually a fair amount of content creation you can do right within the app. In this tutorial mini-series, we're going to be creating an eyebrow ring, setting it up to follow an eyebrow, and saving it so we can apply it to other characters. In this video, we're going to be going over the creation of the eyebrow ring, adding sub D, and using the Join Editor tool. So let's go ahead and create a primitive by clicking right here. We are going to choose a torus, and I want the minor diameter to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to do 10, except if we click on that and hit Control F, we can frame in on it. We hit Control 8 or 6, that can bring up our wireframe. I'm going to create a new torus. And this one's going to go inside the outer one, so this has to be a little smaller. We're going to do 8, except, and if we hit Control 4, we can see both wireframes. Next, I'm going to bring up my side view by holding down Control and putting either left or right, then Control F to bring that into frame. And I want to align these perfectly to each other. And the easiest way to do that is to just bring both of them down right into the middle of the x-axis. And we're going to do that by moving down in the y-translate half of the object's diameter. So the first torus was 10 in diameter, so we're going to do negative 5. And the second one was 8, so we're going to do negative 4. And you can see those are now lined up perfectly. And now I want an overhead view. So if we hold Alt and push up, we get our top view. And with our second torus selected and our universal tool, we can just click and drag on this box in the middle to get our scale. So we want to scale that so it's right in the middle of the outer ring. So Control-8 gives us our wireframe. And this outer ring is going to be the visible part of the eyebrow ring. And the inner ring will be the part that goes through the skin of the eyebrow. And one thing I want to do, select the first torus, and you can see that the geometry is a little bit jagged just because all these faces are flat surfaces. So I'm just gonna come into Edit, come down to Object, Geometry, Convert to Sub-D, and that smooths it out by adding a subdivision in each of these faces, and it looks a lot smoother. Let's do the same. To the second one. Control P brings us back to our perspective view. Now what I want to do is add a little round ornament on this. So I'm going to come and do a new primitive. This time we're going to select a sphere and I want the origin to be object center rather than world center and I'll tell you why in a second. The diameter is one meter I want to change that to 20 centimeters, except, and again, we are going to move it down half of the diameter, so negative 10. And you can see with these toruses that we did before, the anchor point is at the bottom edge of the object, and the sphere is right in the middle because we did the object center rather than world center. Now we can click and drag, and I want this to be somewhere on the outer ring. But what I'd rather do is have the anchor point in the middle of our object. That way, as we manipulate the Y rotate, it will travel around the outer ring. That will just make it simpler to set up on our character, and especially good if we want to animate it later on. So let's just hold down Alt and click on the Z translate and the X translate. And that'll bring it back into the middle. So let's just hit Alt and Up again. And what I'm going to do with the sphere selected, let's come into our tool settings. And if you don't have your tool settings docked, you can just right click anywhere in this darker gray area, add pane and tool settings. So what we want to do is get our joint editor and if we go back into our perspective view, you can see that this is the bone of our object. Here's the center and here is the end. We want to get the center to be right in the middle of the outer ring. 
So let's just round to negative 55 right there. And we want to do the opposite to the x translate what we have here in our x position. So let's do 55. And that brings it right onto the outer ring. And now, as we manipulate the y rotate, that's going to just go around the outer ring. So in our next one, we're going to be working with the geometry editor tool. We're going to be adding shaders. We're going to edit them. And we're going to create a new group. Thank <laughs> you.